Karemer's Kedoshim Chamishi. We start off with the Azhara to a judge, that he's not allowed to show favoritism, bane to the poor guy because he's poor, bane to the rich guy because he's chashu. Then we have a bunch of Beinadim Chaveres now that are not money related. Lashon Hara, if you see a friend dying, you're not allowed to stand idly by, you're not allowed to hit your friend in your heart, you have the mitzvah of Teichicha, if you see him doing something wrong, you're not allowed to hold a grudge, you're not allowed to do Nakama, but you have to Lerecha Kamaicha. And then we have something called Klayim. Klayim is multifaceted in, in three different ways. You have Kilei Behema, you're not allowed to mate two animals or different species. Kilei Akera, planting two different species, how close and how far and what, what, what qualifies as being of a different species. You look at Mesechus Klayim and Kilei Begodim, wool and linen in your garment together, all are included in the Israel of Klayim. Then you have a parasha called Shifcha Necharefa, Shifcha Harufa. Without Rashi, it's very, very hard to understand, but the idea is, is you, there was a slave woman, uh, a Gentile slave woman, who was owned by two owners. We're not talking about the terrorist position on slavery. If you want, you can look in headlines from David Lichtenstein, volume three, just hot off the press by OU. Uh, so she, he, she's, part owned, she's owned by partners. One partner frees his half. Now the part that's still a slave, her owners let her give her over to his Evet Ivri, and the children that will come from that union will belong to him. So on one hand, really there's no issues, there's no, no real kedushin between uh, Shifcha and Eved Ivri, but because half of her is freed, the Tyre looks at it with more of a severity. So were someone to live with her while she was given over to this Eved Ivri, she would get Malchus and he would be Chayev a carbon. And you have Varalta Morlose Esperia Shalashayim, the Mitzvah of Arl, you plant a fruit tree, the first three years, it's also Bahana. The fourth year, it's like it's like Meister Shani that it has to be brought to Yushalayim and eaten within the Chaimas of Yushalayim. And the fifth year, you can do with it as you see fit. All sorts of superstitions that people used to check with the Mazalais. Is it a good day to start a business? Is it a bad day to go out to the road? And then you have a clump, a group of mitzvahs over here that all teach you the common denominator that your body does not belong to you. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to cut your pace, you're not allowed to cut your beard. You're not allowed to cut yourself when you hear news about somebody dying. You're not allowed to put a tattoo on your flesh. All these things tell you your body's not yours. And you might think, not only is your body not yours, Torah says, the alta chala bit chala is nice. Your children are not, your, not yours. It might, you might feel it's worth, it's worth it to make a penny to sell your daughter into Fiznos. That's also us. Al tifnu ala oivais vala yedoinim. Oivais and yedoinim look in the and imagine different ways of getting in touch with the dead, with the dead and talking to them. Different types of seances, they're all us. Uh, taking us into Shishi is Mepnei Seva Tokum, but Dr. Pnei Zokin is honoring your elders and Tamidei Chachamim, even if they're not old.